Hi guys, uh, today's topic is about overprotective parents. There's a fine line between pro protecting and overprotecting your children. But many parents uh, tend to cross that line and actually ending up hurting their children instead of protecting them. And the practical don't want to that you experience pain and suffering of any kind unhappiness, uh, bad experiences and reaction. In early stages of childhood the parent might create fears for the child that might affect his confidence and self-esteem. And as a parent not allowing your child to do other things that other children do in the same age might also affect their self-esteem. As a parent uh, you should actually uh, uh, let go of your child and actually let him or her make mistakes and experience rejection because if they don't uh, they will probably end up escaping from you well uh, the escaping part might not actually be true but they will actually grow hate against you they might do reckless things that uh, you as a parent doesn't accept or doesn't like just to piss you off um, I know several people that done it uh, and actually and gone away with it and I'm also getting shipped for it later. Well now I'm going to talk about how to deal with your un uh, overprotective parents also share with my own uh, experiences. So the first uh, key thing is communication. For starters uh, you should analyze when it's uh, when it is good or bad to talk with your parents and try to use the uh, good moments or when, when your parents are in a good mood or you've done something extraordinary and use that moment for something important you want to say and if you're smart enough uh, don't provoke your parents when they're angry a good thing is to find out which of your parents are the most lenient and finding out which parent is the most lenient is a real advantage because you can get her or his opinion first and uh, and maybe asking the other parent about it. From my own experience, my both parents are lenient about different stuff. So it's if it's about one thing, I probably go to my mother, and if it's some other thing, I probably go to my father. So you have to try to find the topics and things that they might like and might not dislike. Other key things as Compromising with your parents and acting responsibly uh, will also help you, but I can't be arsed to act responsibly, so so to speak, uh, I actually give a shit about my parents nowadays. But that's totally off topic, so let's go back to the real topic. Another really big thing is proving that you are mature. There is so many ways to prove for your parents that you are mature, but mm, the list would be too long and it would... <laughs> It will be too long for me to uh, speak about it, so um, if you want to discuss about this, you can just uh, write in the comment section, and uh, I'll reply to every comment you write, uh, either Swedish or English, and even if I write in other languages, I might use Google Translate and uh, translate your comment so I can answer to it. Uh, well, uh, I hope you have a great day and don't forget to subscribe and share my video if you want to give a thumbs up give a thumbs down uh, whatever you like um, well bye